All right, so here's a little video about ultrasonic detection of uh, two pages uh, passing by or a single page in a book scanning machine. So here I have a function generator, thanks to Robert Baruch. Um, and I have an oscilloscope and two ultrasonic uh, transducers. So one is uh, transmitting and one is receiving. The frequency generator is hooked up to the transmitter and the oscilloscope is hooked up to the receiver. So if, if something goes in between, you can see that the signal changes. Uh, the first observation about these things, which is sort of general knowledge, but I'll say it anyway, um, these transducers are tuned to 38 kilohertz. So I have this set up at 100 kilohertz and, and 0.4, um, so it ends up being about 38. And it, it's very, very sensitive. If I move down to 37, we start to see a loss of signal quality, and if I move up to 40, we drop again. So it's it's very tuned, seems to be resonant at pretty much 38 kilohertz, and that gives us the best response. Uh, estimating the output of this thing being about 20 volts peak to peak um, to get this kind of signal, I can change the amplitude down here, and you see the signal goes up and down. Um, this seems to be about the best I can do at, at this distance. Um, now, as far as detecting paper, I have here, for example, a sheet of tissue paper. If I put one pass through here, you see that the signal diminishes significantly, but it's not completely, um, it's not invisible. The scope doesn't lose lock. If I fold that same sheet of paper in half here on the shaky cam, and I stuff it through um, like so, the signal disappears entirely. So it does indeed um, do double page detection, although the difference between two pages and one page, since we're at half a volt peak to peak, we get about, let's say, 0.8 volts there, and then zero um, when it's two pages. Now this is tissue paper. Um, I can try a few other papers here. So this is uh, some kind of coated fluorescent uh, crazy paper. Again, it's about the same thing. You get you get down to a little less than a volt, and then if you double up, um, the signal goes away altogether. Uh, likewise with standard printer copy paper, um, one thickness simply reduces it, and two thicknesses, even uh, whether close or far spaced, pretty much kill it altogether. Um, as a comparison, here's a piece of paper towel which barely diminishes the signal and then when doubled up only reduces it. So there is a limit to this technology. Um, I also got some sort of thinking about like magazines. This is the sheet of thermal paper from a thermal printer. One side of it is wax, waxed, um, so it's, pr it's presumably more reflective and it does diminish it more than the other paper did. Um, and then uh, the other side has a sticker attached directly to it, and I was curious what that would do. So I'm going to stick that in between, and it's very nearly to the point of extinction, but still works. So again, uh, about 38 kilohertz, pretty huge input signal, something around 20 volts peak to peak. Um, and we're getting an output of each, each division here is half a volt, so... One, two, three, four. We're getting four, four volts out peak to peak, which is pretty, pretty nice, or maybe even five. Um, that's what I have.